I think endurance, where people fall short is, is a little bit of preparation. And it's not, I don't mean that in the training. I mean that they don't think about taking in enough food or taking the right clothing or planning the route out and looking at the course ahead of time and sort of using your brain a little bit. You know, if somebody's used to a course that, you know, is a lap course where they don't really have to think about if they're going to get lost. Um, what I really like about gravel is it, it does, you have to use your brain. If you're gonna do a long endurance event, whether it's on a mountain bike or a gravel bike, you have to think about, well, what if it rains? Or what if I run out of water? How much water do I need? How many hours is it gonna be? And I really think that that makes a person kind of take responsibility. But then when you do and you nail it and you know you have what you need out there, I think it's actually a really, it's a really rewarding. And so for new people, I, I encourage them to think about, okay, plan how many hours do you think it's gonna take? What is your bike like? Where's the food that you can get? What are the resources? Do you have cell coverage? Do you not? And so I just kind of encourage people to think and brainstorm and think of what ifs. And if you can plan what ifs before you leave, then you're gonna be fine out on the course. Even if you take all day to finish it, you've got what you need with you. I have a couple of little mantras in my head. Someone said to me really early in my career when I was doing eco challenges and stuff, which are seven day long races. And she said to me, uh, a friend of mine who was a lot more experienced at the time, she said, you know, you can run across the hot coals or you can walk across them. And so a lot of times my mantra has been, you know, if it's really painful and torturous and I'm hating it, the fastest way to make that stop is to just get to the end. And so, um, I do think about, okay, well, if this is terrible, then let's just get it over with and get to the finish line. And it's, it's not to say I'm not in the moment enjoying it, but there's definitely times where you're, you have to be mentally tough out there because physically it hurts, it's hard. And, but you never remember that when you finish and you smile on your face and you, you feel that sense of achievement, you don't remember those times, you know, hours ago where you were in the pain cave. So, so I think about getting the finish as fast as possible, but then I also think about if it's raining, if it's a super hard hill, if it's some super gnarly section of the course, if it's really hard for me, it's really hard for everybody else. And I know that, you know, I'm not alone in that suffering. And there's part of me that's like, okay, everyone's hating this big hill right now. So I'm going to push harder. I'm going to get up and over it.